Hi, Science 8. Uh, so what I'd like to do is go over the answers to the uh, density worksheet. I kind of covered all the different types of calculations that we had looked at. So when you're doing um, density uh, calculations, make sure just like you would in math class to show your steps. Okay, so uh, remember uh, density is equal to mass divided by volume. Okay, so number one and number two are pretty straightforward because they've already given you the mass and the volume. Okay, so for number one, it's going to be density is equal to um, 26.76 grams divided by 3 centimeters cubed, and that's going to give you 8.92 grams per centimeter cubed. Okay, so make sure uh, when you write your answer that you also include the units. So now we can look at the table and that matches up with copper. Okay, so remember one of the things that was mentioned last class, um, density is a physical constant, uh, physical characteristic. Uh, so just like um, for, for uh, just like a boiling point or melting point would be a physical characteristic. So for a pure substance, so if we're talking about copper, pure copper would always have this density. Okay, so, so, um, so again, that's a physical, constant or a physical characteristic uh, of a pure substance. Copper is an element. Okay, same thing for number two. Here the density is going to be 5.28 grams divided by 2 centimeters cubed. And that's going to give you 2.64 grams per centimeter cubed. So that's going to be quartz. Okay, number three and four are more challenging questions. So here, uh, for number three, you have an irregularly shaped object. So it's, it's something that you can't um, sort of use a ruler and get dimensions that you can uh, work out the uh, volume for. So here what they're saying is, we're gonna have a graduated cylinder that has 10 milliliters of water, and then we're gonna put the, the ring in and we're going to notice that the new volume is 15 milliliters. That's including uh, the ring. So your volume is going to be equal to 15 milliliters minus a 10 milliliters, which will equal 5 milliliters. Okay, so remember, volume can be expressed as centimeters cubed, and it can also be expressed as milliliters. Okay, so remember, 1 milliliter is equal to 1 cubic centimeter. And so you've got your mass here, 107 grams. So your density is going to be 107 grams divided by uh, 5 milliliters, which is going to give you uh, 21.4 grams per centimeter, or grams, I'll put uh, grams per milliliter for this one because we use milliliters. Okay, and so that's going to be platinum. Okay, so platinum it would be considered a a precious metal it's actually more expensive than uh, gold is okay so if you're comparing these two let's compare um, copper and platinum what this uh, this variation shows you is if I had the same um, same uh, volume of platinum uh, it would feel a lot heavier than the copper right and much more heavier than the quartz Right, so just imagine if you're if you're holding that in your hand, uh, you'd have a big mass difference. Okay, okay. So this remember, so this is called the uh, displacement method that we use for number three. Okay, for number four, we've got a regularly shaped object. Okay, so something that we can uh, we can measure the dimensions, and they're three by four by six. So that's going to be um, our volume here is going to be length times width times height. Okay, it doesn't matter which one you call length, width, or height. Uh, so it's three times four times six, which is gonna be um, 72 cubic centimeters. Okay, uh, and so remember, if, if you've done, um, if you've done math eight, I think you look at doing surface area and volume calculations. So uh, here we're talking about a, a rectangular prism but uh, you could do the you could do similar types of uh, equations, different equations, 
that that lend themselves to different types of shapes, right? So, for example, if you're talking about a sphere, a uh, triangular prism, uh, there are equations out there that would allow you to find the volume, okay, different than, than this one here. Um, so your density for this one's going to be equal to 184.32 grams divided by 72 cubic centimeters. And so that is going uh, to give you um, 2.56 grams per um, centimeter cubed. So this one here is going to be marble. Okay. So um, what I'd like you to uh, do is make sure you, you make corrections and check over your answers on this worksheet. Um, so the next thing we're going to look at is our forces. Okay. And so I'm going to have you kind of uh, research and you know go online if you have the textbooks. Use your textbooks uh, to to figure out. Uh, learn about forces and do as much as you can from the worksheets I'm going to um, uh, post. And then what I'll do is I'll go over the answers uh, to that worksheet on uh, Monday's class. And then I'll, I'll give you some, um, some questions from there. So a force, just generally speaking, is basically uh, the, the easiest definition of a force is it's basically a push or pull. Okay. And what you'll learn is that that push or pull can be either made directly so that there's touching involved contact okay um, so imagine like you're pushing somebody on a swing uh, or it can be made indirectly um, uh, what we refer to as an action uh, action at a distance okay so that's like say a paper clip being pulled in by a magnet right so there's no touching there but there's still a force that exists between the two so again a push uh, a push or pull is what we characterize uh, a force as. And so what I want you to be able to look at is uh, try to think of different types of forces that are present um, and then look at a specific situation and figure out which of those forces would, would be applicable to the situation, right? So for example, if we're talking about um, receiving a, a, an electric shock, Right. So what type of force is that referring to? So that's what I will have you uh, look at. Don't worry if you're unable to get all the answers. Just do your best and then we'll go over the answers to that um, on Monday. OK, so I'll stop there um, again. Make sure that you look after yourself and uh, you stay safe. OK, so follow all the uh, coronavirus um, uh, guidelines uh, and I'll talk to you again on uh, Monday. OK, bye now.